Aspen University, CJ415, Supervision of Police. My name is Andre Rosedale, I'm the instructor for the course. This is Module 2, Discussion Question 2, which reads, Do you believe police supervisors or are more Theory X or Theory Y? Explain your background and reason for this belief. So I look forward to your answer and with a good APA uh, with a good APA reference, which could either be from your textbook or from the YouTube video if you wanted to try something new. Uh, I've recently been citing some YouTube videos, uh, so there is a different type of, it's, there's a different flow with the citation, um, just to put it easily. And um, I would like to know, based on your history, either as a police officer or any other thing that you may do, what kind of supervisors have you had Theory X or Theory Y, and what kind of work experience did you have? Been a police officer for uh, 22 years, going on 23 years here, and um, my current agency is very Theory X, and Theory X being um, our supervisors think we don't work much, uh, we prefer to be led and told what to do, and um, we're resistant to change as opposed to theory why which is uh people can enjoy working hard they can enjoy their work they can work hard and they can be productive for the agency um, as long as they achieve personal goals and goals of the department at the same time uh, why does this happen in my agency i believe this happens in my agency was the first police department in the state of connecticut and we have a our motto is dedicated service since 1865 and the reality of it is uh, we've always done this since 1865. You always hear when you push back at the supervisors, but this is the way we've always done it. This is the way we've always done it. Um, and it, part of that is the history of how they grew up. They grew up, uh, the current supervisors um, grew up in an era where things were handed to the most senior guy. Uh, even at a point where contractually, um, detective positions were kept for the senior officers. The, you had to be on day shift, so you had to be a senior officer. Uh, and promotions are based on not only a written test, an oral board, and a police interview, but on seniority points. For example, I am the I am currently the fifth senior patrol officer in the department. I could score a 70 on the test. You have to pass the written test. I score a 70 on the written test, and some kid who's, you know, been on the road for two years scores 100 on the test. I have more seniority points. I'm ahead of him. I have like 105 or 107 or something. And that takes him over. Um, and that causes problems. So when you grow up in that atmosphere... People don't want you being the smart guy that can figure out different ways of doing things. And um, and they don't want you pushing back because this is the way we've always done it. And what does it lead into? Uh, there's very little movement. When there is movement, there's a lot of backstabbing. And there's very little proactivity. Very little. Uh, motor vehicle stops are not a daily occurrence. Um, you know jumping out on people to see if they're dealing drugs or you know seeing if they're trying to get the street hustle going on that doesn't really happen not after a while because guys get burned out so badly um we do have a couple of leaders who believe in the theory why um process but those aren't traditionally police officers i currently have a a shift supervisor who is a retired engineer He's a lieutenant, but he knows there's other ways of looking at things. Uh, and if I look back on it, all of my supervisors who were theory Y were veterans. Um, not saying that vet, that military agencies, military branches are all theory Y, but there's a lot of encouragement about doing things and striving for yourself and getting something out of it than just uh, punching the clock. And currently, I cannot think of a single supervisor that has a military background. We have two pretty solid leaders. One of them is the retired engineer. 
And the other one is just a natural born leader. Some people just have the ability to get down on your level and just be your leader. Um, the work in the trenches with you while at the same time taking on other responsibilities. So again, I would like to know what you are experiencing in um, your current workplace or just something memorable. Uh, something that like made you, maybe you were a cardiac nurse and your supervisors just kind of drove you into a different profession. As the union vice president, uh, I am currently dealing with something where we have a Theory X supervisor and an 18-year veteran police officer who is looking to leave because of the pushback. Um, it's kind of a hostile incident. So I'm interested to know, have you ever experienced something that would make you leave through Theory X? Or maybe you have a really great Theory Y story. I look forward to your response.